What's up, y'all? It's your boy Debo Vibes right here. And thank you so much for coming by to another episode of Southside Funny. You already know I had to come back right here representing the best Southside Eats of Atlanta, Georgia. Now, last time I did barbecue, I got to get some more barbecue in me. I can't help it. I can't help it. I love eating some barbecue. You know what I'm saying? So my stomach brought me down here to Lake City, Georgia. And we're going to dive into Mr. Styles Family Barbecue. It's a neighborhood barbecue joint right here in Lake City, Georgia, Clayton County, Georgia. But each time I drive by, you smell a barbecue permeating from this building right here. So guess what? Let me shut my mouth. Shut up, Debo. Okay, I shut up. Let me go and shut up. And let's go see what Mrs. Styles and his staff are up to right here at Mrs. Styles Family Barbecue, Lake City, Georgia. Come on, y'all. Come, come on, y'all. Come on. All right, check it out, foodies. Mr. Styles Family Barbecue is located on 2084 Rex Road, Suite 8, in the beautiful city of Lake City, Georgia, right down the street from Clayton State University. Their mission was to build a restaurant based on God, family, and their passion for food. They pride themselves on providing outstanding customer service to go along with the amazing food. Let's go talk to Mr. Styles and see how this all began at this great establishment. All right, y'all, so we're in the building right here at Mr. Styles Family Barbecue with the one and only Mr. Styles. How are you doing, sir? All right, all right. All right, man. So, like I told like I told my audience, man, like, the sense and the essence and the smells permeate through this building right here, man, is what drew me in, you know what okay. I mean? And I did board there a couple of times I came by here, and I was like, man, I, I, I got to chop it up with you, man. But let's go ahead and start. Let's, 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 let's go ahead and do this, though, man. What made you, what put it in your head, you and your wife said, shout out to Shantae, you know, it's a family owned business. What made y'all want to start a barbecue business? Well, it was, uh, I was working at Georgia Tech uh, in the kitchen, basically, you know, cooking you know, with two chefs and chefs. And I just, uh, we had a spring break, and I just didn't want to sit at home no more, you know. Um, the idea really came from being that my mom always did it. And uh, she did it for 45 years, South Bend, Indiana, Frankie's Barbecue, she did it. Um, she was a cook. And uh, she, she basically like ran the place when she was there when it comes to the food. But uh, I was just, I had wanted to, I had wanted to, you know, do something on the spring break. And uh, we had a spring break at, at, the, at um, Georgia Tech. So I ended up, uh, I ended up uh, going up to the gas station. I told my wife I didn't want to sit in the. She was my girlfriend at that time, but uh, I told her I didn't want to sit in the in the house for the summer, for the uh, spring break. So I, I wanted to do something. I didn't want to sit in the house. So I, I told her, I'm gonna go and ask the guy at the gas station if uh, I can come up there and cook on the side of making some money. Mm -hmm. And so I went up there, hollered, and he was like, Yeah, give me fifty dollars. So from that first fifty he given me, started this business. You know, we was able to. The nickel some way we got some meat, you know what I'm saying? They don't really put it out how we got it, but we got it. And um, but uh, we didn't have no way to uh, get get the the um, the grills. I took the grills off the back of her porch, mm -hmm. and um, I went up there and went to work. We went got went to U-Haul that morning, got a U-Haul, and I went up there and I went to work. But when I got off, when I got off work. I had made like eighty dollars more than my eighty hour check that day. Wow. And uh, my wife was like, man, shoot, we, we gotta go ahead and get it. So yeah. we, we started, you know, we was in the front of uh Chevron and Burger King. Burger King was closed. Mm -hmm. It was on Mount Zion Road, Mount Zion Parkway. So 
I know exactly where that was. Right there, yeah, where, yeah, that, where, where, that, where that where that where that three hour cafe is. Yep, yep, and yep. that's where it's where now what's it called all in now. Yep, like that's yep, okay. yep. Yeah, I, okay. I tried to get the I tried to get the um Burger King, trying to get them to let me work, get that Burger King, and I was gonna turn it into like Mr. Styles Family Barbecue. We was gonna make it a fun zone for the kids to play in, right. and then you know you come and get your food. When the kids done, the families can come there. And but it was a lot of it was a lot of stuff going on with that where somebody owned it. They didn't wanna they didn't wanna turn it over like that, which they could because they wasn't doing nothing. We were there like two years before. We, before we ended up moving to another spot, okay. and we could have did it. There's okay. a lot of work that needed done, but we really was, we was trying to. We started on the side of the road, and um, it, some some days are better than others. But people loved who, what, what 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 Mr. Styles brand stood for. You know, it was, it was it's, it's it's one thing about it. It is we 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 we, we study hard on making sure that we customer service try to get you in and out fast. It's not fast food, this is takeout. So good food, I always told the person, if you, good food ain't fast, fast food ain't good. Word, okay, <laughs> you know I got saying? you. Hey, I, I go in front, bro. The whole time, you, well, the whole time, at the time you was talking, I'm just staring at this food right here, man, that we got right here, man. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna dive in right here. Where, where's that, where's my man, tell the audience what we got right here. Well, right here. now we got some ribs, I made some ribs. I don't, I don't cut the tops off my ribs, so my ribs is long. Okay. Um, my, um, I leave the tips on them. And uh, that's macaroni and cheese, baked macaroni and cheese, and that's good baked beans. We don't put meat in our baked beans because a lot of vegetarians come in, they want baked beans, and they can't eat it with meat. Second plate over here, we have some jerk chicken with some yams. We do yams on Fridays and Saturdays, sometimes during the week, because we got to cater and I'll sell some we got collard greens. We also take our bread, we do our bread and we toast it. We toast good Texas toast on both sides. So, you know. Right. Let me go ahead and dive this jerk chicken right here, man. I'll let you be the, be the judge of how sir. So here we go. That's the jerk chicken right here, Mr. Style Family Barbecue. Let me go and see what we're working with right here. It's good, it's good, it's good. Mmm. <laughs> You know what, what the best thing I love about this, man, other than the taste is, man, the taste is good. But with chicken, man, the system falls off the bone like you just did, bro. I love it. I love skin, you know what I mean? I get I get on that grill. You know, I use a taste of char uh I use a taste of, of wood. Mm -hmm. Like I like pecan and, and uh I like my pecan and I like my um cherry from my daughter, she's coming in. Okay, that's cool. So um we just uh you know, we just we make our food and fun with them. Hey, baby. Daddy, I'm going to get you. Okay, Daddy's going to get you. Daddy, 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 Daddy. 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 Bring Daddy. Mommy. Daddy. 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 Hey, say hi, everybody. Hi. Say, say, say this is Roy. Tell them who you are. Royalty. And you're, 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 you're Mr. Styles Family Barbecue, ain't you? Mm -hmm. Whose restaurant is this? Daddy. And who's else? Royalty. And who's else? Um, Mommy. That's right. And what? Daddy. Yeah, and we and we, we take care of our people. Wait, Dad! Wait! Come here! Come on, hey! No, 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 Daddy gonna get you. No, that's his food. I get you. Daddy gonna get you. You wanna sit here and talk to him about the about the restaurant? Yeah, talk to him. Let, let's, let's sit down and let What's you talk. What's royalty in the building right now? Let me ask you a question, royalty. All right, my, oh, my, sorry, my name is Debo. Debo. Like Debo? Yeah, my name is Debo. Royalty, what? What should I have next? Should I have the baked beans and macaroni and cheese or the ribs? Which one should I have next? Baked beans. Baked beans? All right, baked beans it is. So, Royalty, what's the best thing about your dad um, having a barbecue restaurant? Um, so, I like him doing baked beans and I like him doing ribs. That's how I like him doing. And that's why I like him doing. That's why I like him doing ribs and bread. Oh, yeah, she said candy yams, y'all. Yeah. Okay. How about, hey, how about that? I'm going to dive this rib right quick. Stuff over there. That's, that's the rib pretty good? Look at that rib, y'all. Yeah. Look at that rib right here, y'all. Mrs. Ooh. Styles Barbecue, Lake City, Georgia. Wait. So, what else you like about what is, what, what, what is you like about barbecue? What is spice and spaghetti? Huh? Spice and spaghetti. 
That small thing is a microphone. What? Yeah, that's what you're talking to. When this happens? She's too big. So I like collard greens too. You like collard greens too? Yo, these ribs right here. A1 ribs, y'all. Like, Fall off the bone. And I can let you eat the collard greens too. Can you eat the collard greens too? You sure? Yes. Alright. Every time I like my dad cooking, that's why he loves let me show y'all something right quick, man. <laughs> Red right right chicken right here. The candy yams. The collard greens. All that. Can I see hey, shout out the road to y'all. Shout out the road. So, one thing I noticed about when I went through your, um, when I did my research, I mean, you want to be, you, you and the staff strive to be the most electable Wait, and the most playable barbecue spot on the south side. Yes. What separates you guys from the others? Uh, just, just our formula that we got going on. Everybody, it can be a whole bunch of, it can be a whole lot of barbecue people. <laughs> yeah, why you tell them to hurry up? Yes. <laughs> everybody got can can do barbecue. You know what I'm saying? But everybody got to have their own signature. Mm -hmm. Our signature is the everything sauce. Okay. And how we prepare our food, how we cook our food. I don't boil my meat. I don't, I don't do no. Plan. When, I, when it comes to my food, I get down on that grill. Word, okay. you know, I get down on that grill and I take care of my business. I cook my food for my customers like I cook my food for myself. Okay. If it's not, if it's not gonna be right, I ain't gonna do it. That's what's up, bro. You know, so, uh, yeah, well, and we just be family. When you come to Mr. Styles Family Barbecue, then you eat. You are a family from the first moment that you walk in here. You are a family, so don't come back and be a stranger. Okay. It's right, so one family now, right? Yeah, you family. You yeah, family okay. when you came in. I have always been one of those persons that liked to travel and you know, so with that being said, I was able to I was able to um get an opportunity to meet certain different people. And me from being from Indiana, mm -hmm. you know, I came to Atlanta in uh, two thousand and one and I was able to I was able to meet Larry Blackman. I married met Larry really? Blackman and I ended up going on tour. For five years with them, I did the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, House of Blues, Synergy Field. I performed with Will Downey, Jonathan Butler, Richard Franklin. I was young. I did Vegas five times with War and B-52. So I was able to be able to, uh, uh, the, he, he noticed my talent. Mm -hmm. And when he noticed my talent, he, he took me on the road with him. And it gave me opportunity, you know, to do things. But I've always been a rapper, singer, writer, because I always wrote things about my life. But well, one thing, man, I noticed that y'all's anniversary for a restaurant, man, you know, 16, so have, have, have an anniversary coming up, man. And another thing, next time, man, I, come, go. Next time I come here, I'm gonna try to get uh, the buck in there. Tell us about yeah, the burger. Buck in there. The burger is named after Buck Langford. Mm -hmm. We had a burger that we used to do on the side of the road, and when we got yeah, in the restaurant, no, when we got in the restaurant, like stop. When we got in the restaurant, we was able to, I kept on when I was on the side of the road, I went to have burgers and buck when I was on the side yeah, of the road. Yeah, this one I'm talking about, good. Okay, so stop doing that before you spill it. But um, I See? ended up, wanted, I had a burger and I told my wife I wanted to um, stop. I wanted to um, let two people taste my burger. One, Guy Fieri mm -hmm. and Buck Langford, because he has a show called Burgers with Buck. Yeah, in the morning time. So, I've been watching it. Yeah, so yeah. I ended up going on on his show and I was mm -hmm. able to, um, I was able to get it. I kept going in his inbox while I was on the road. Mm -hmm. And when I, he ended up, here, he ended up, no, so he kept being on it. He told my wife it was my persistent. It was my wow. persistent that that that, that um, gave him the, gave me the opportunity for him to allow me to be on his show. Okay. So he put me on that. He put me on his show. When he put me on his show, I just you know um, I ended up doing a commercial for him. He ended up letting me come on his show. And the uh, rest is history. So I said I didn't want to have a burger just once on the thing. So I made it a, 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 a number one thing on my menu, wow. and I locked it in there. I definitely look forward to trying out next time I'm here, man. But hey, Miss Styles, boy, man, my hands all dirty. It's all right, <laughs> man. Perfect, perfect barbecue thank right here, man. I want to thank you so much man. for inviting me into your establishment, man. And me. And your beautiful wife, man. And bro, you let me in here. How do you know, so, know my name? So, you told me your name like five minutes ago. You told me about five minutes ago. <laughs> I did a song. The song I did for Burger and Buck is like a, 
They say one to the two to the three to the four. Buck Lafer got another burger coming on the show. Four to the three to the two to the one. Tell your mama, tell your daddy, Buck Lafer got the one. I got burgers with Bug. I got burgers with Bug. I'ma tune in Friday, y'all. For burgers with Bug. Walk to Five Atlanta. That's what's up. What you got going on? Hey, man, appreciate you, man. Like you said, man, Mr. Stafford and Barbecue. Uh, Lake City, Georgia. Let me ask you a question. You from South Bend, right? Yeah. You, you know anything about Benton Harbor? Yeah, Benton Harbor, Michigan. Yeah, I'm from, my family is all from Benton Harbor. That's St. Joe. That's St. Joe County. Literally. I know. Yeah, I'm all. I know everything from Benton Harbor to Wajack to Barron Springs, one, all of that. Never, never, one, one of my homeboys is from Benton Harbor. Man. Yeah, he live up there, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's where I'm from. And Rome is from Benton Harbor. The same I didn't Rome. know that. You yeah. Been, okay. All right. Yeah. So yeah, I, I got family all over. Yeah. My uncles and my yeah, and my, my uncles out. is from Benton Harbor. So. And, and all my family is from Michigan. I was born in Brandywine, Michigan. Right, right, right. But I moved to South Bend, so that's where I grew all the way up to South Bend. All right. right. Let me go ahead and get my customers. Yeah, take your customers. Take your time. Enjoy your food. Y'all come on out to Mr. Styles Family Barbecue. We're in 2084 Rex Road. If, if good food, my food, not like I always tell people. Fast food ain't good and good food ain't fast. Amen. Please. Hey, appreciate y'all coming by for your other yeah, show. Uh, Southside Foodie, I'm about to do what he said. I'm about to dive in. Oh, Come on, man. I'm about to dive in. I'm about, hey, Royalty, can I dive into all this right here? Uh, yes. Yes, she said yes, y'all. Yeah. Hey, man, your boy Dino Fives right here for Southside Foodie. Hey, guess what, man? I see great to see you. Yeah. See? <laughs> Southside Foodie. Yeah. Southside Foodie. Southside Foodie. I see grace in you like you see grace in me. Man, I love y'all, man. But I'm talking about hey, you're so good. I'm your boy. The one on D-Lo 5 right here. Thank y'all so much for coming by Southside Foods. As always, y'all, respect, love, peace. You want to say bye? You want to say bye, Rory? Say bye. Bye. One, two, three. Oh!